Hey ladies, Paige here. Earlier today I had a pretty bad migraine, so I thought, why not try something to relieve a little tension in my body? I'm at Jai Healing Center with master body worker Aaron Erickson, where I'm gonna receive a neuromuscular massage. I can hardly wait. Today we're gonna do some neuromuscular therapy. Basically, I'm going to assess your body uh, through visual and also just asking you to do some range of motion work. And we're going to see how you're aligned. And we're going to get you in line with gravity and so that your body is open and that you feel good, you're functioning, and you're out of uh, stress or you're out of the imbalance cycle. So when I look at from the side is I look for, for the ear to be in line with the shoulder, to be in line with the hip, to be in line with the knee, and to be in line right here with the center arch of the foot. So as we come up, we can see that the ear is just a little bit forward of the shoulder. All right, and you're relaxing all the way. Soft, 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 just let it go, everything go. Good, and the shoulder has just a little bit of a forward pitch to it, just a little bit, so not too bad. According to Aaron, asymmetry of the body can cause fatigued muscles, mobility loss, and poor circulation, including blood flow and lymphatic flow. Well, we're gonna do a little bit of release work now to open up the chest. We wanna bring the shoulders back, and as she lifts up from the sternum, we also wanna tuck the chin and see if we can get the ear in a little bit more of a straight line. Just like a blind person who can read braille, I can feel every little muscle and every little thing that's going on in here. And I'm just putting a little bit of pressure in there, starting to let her body know that you know, it's time to let go, to release. Diagnosis, tight and forward pinching shoulders. It's very common for everybody to be dominant in the front because we drive the car forward, we're on the computer forward. Almost everything we do is in front. Hardly ever do we have to go like this and do any kind of hard task with the body really rotated and open. You're needing to do some more strengthening in your, in your middle back. My assigned homework for upper back strengthening included back flies, using free weights, machines, and cables, and rowing exercises, bending over or using a machine. But you're strengthening all of this area here and the back of your shoulder blade. So you're just gonna really, all of those muscles, what they do is they retract and they bring you back like this. Through treatment in my shoulders, arms, and neck, I started to sense calmness while my migraine went away. Okay, so now that I'm finishing up Paige's session, uh, really what I found in her body, she wasn't uh, super tight through the chest, but her subscapular muscles were definitely locking up the shoulder uh, joint, the shoulder girdle, and um, you know, we got a lot of release through the posterior, through the back muscles. So I think now that when she gets up and stands up, she's gonna feel how it's a little easier to be upright. And this session will give her some relief. So I've been to my fair share of masseuses before, and honestly, I don't think they all know what they're doing. Some do it for pleasure, other do it for rehabilitation. I think Aaron really nailed both. He was very strategic and sophisticated in his maneuvers, and there's no other way to put it other than my body feels miraculous. For KTV, I'm Paige Bresky. Remember to connect with us. 